I just wanted to make something like that everyone could laugh at and enjoy. Ah! I admit, I laugh at my own jokes. <laughs> I was very much hands-on. I'm a very much hands-on producer. There's no way in my life where I just stand around and just like, everybody do your thing. I find some way in some form to help out. Look at a character and be like, oh, I know them. Like, that's my mom, that's my grandma, that's me. And just really relate to the characters on screen more than anything. <sighs> it's a very relatable film, so I'm really excited just to hopefully see people connect with it on just that level alone. I was kind of like a mom. That's what they called me on set. I was the mom of the set. I was making sure everyone was good, and it was just a fun time. I can't have these guys really hit each other. So there's there would be moments where he would just sell a punch so well as if he when he got hit in the face, I had to stop everything and say, "Are you okay?" He was like, "I'm fine." <laughs> I'm like, "You look like you really got hit." And he was like, "No, I'm good. <laughs> I did it." There's a really funny grocery store scene with a lot of jokes that I wrote myself. I want them to laugh at that. <laughs> I want the validation of them laughing at that. I had a whole planned underwater pool scene and I was expecting it to fail horribly. <laughs> we shot it on an iPhone with like a sketchy underwater case and it's some of the best footage like that we had in the whole film. And it's so good and it just came out so much better than I ever thought. So that was one thing where I was like, Okay, that worked. I did not think that was gonna happen. I had to hold in my laughter because I would just let some of my actors just like do improv on some of the lines. And then what they came up with was so funny. And I'm like, oh my God. And then it was like those moments I was like, this is gonna be gold.